Hello again. On this dreary, rainy, drizzly. It's still somewhat sprinkling out here, but I'm going to make a video anyway. I'm somewhat protected under the overhang of the house. Um, Monday, September 11th, 2023. Yes, I hope everyone remembers. Those we lost, 2001. Sad day. Still more questions than answers. So many things have come out about that. What was going on that day. It really makes it hard for one not to have a lot of questions, but we're not going to talk about that in this video. It's just my reminder we need to, in some small way, you know, tribute to those who were lost. I'm going to smoke my Savinelli 320 Alganza. I might be running out of butane. I think I am. Not good. So, yes, the amazing weather left us last night. Had some storms roll through early, early morning. It woke me up. And it's been kind of drizzly all day. Temperatures are still staying in the 60s, though. Had a little mishap last night in the dark I parked behind my wife in the driveway right here so I needed to move my car in the process I rubbed against my back quarter pedal rubbed against our RV RV is completely fine no blemish but my car isn't yep I think I'm out I don't know if this is going to... Mm -hmm. Thank God for this info. <clears throat> Hot coffee. And Cornell and Dio autumn evening. You know, I've seen a lot of people kind of knock Cornell and Dio. And while I haven't smoked a lot of Cornell and Dio, I have had a few of their blends, and I've liked them all. Probably smoked four of their blends, counting this. Um, I think. The tobacco, usually, this here is, like, very finely, a very fine ribbon cut, which it packs wonderfully, burns wonderfully. Not quite sure. Uh, flavor is awesome. I, I'm not quite sure why people are so against Cornell and Deal, but maybe they are more educated in the uh, where the tobacco comes from, maybe. I don't know, but I 
think autumn evening goes amazing with coffee. Many, I think many pipe tobacco blends does though, so that's just me. Tell you what, the little chipmunks are out today. Rain don't bother them. Got the email from work stating what exactly we will be doing at this job in Michigan. It's a big job. There's a lot of work there. Two trips, two, two full trips. I'm glad we're driving out, though, because that way when we are finished Wednesday, if we want, we can just take off, head back home, which is probably what we're going to do. We got a late night, but. So be it. Yeah, this stuff burns so well in the bowl. It behaves very well. You don't have to really mess with it, which I like. Well, we got a pissed off bird somewhere over here. It happens almost every time I get on. They try to chase off squirrels and shit, I think. At least it stayed somewhat cool. It's not, you know... It didn't warm up and get super humid and all that, so we're still able to just keep the windows open in the house. For some reason, uh, the wife thought it was so warm this morning, she turned the air on. I got up, and it was like, I come outside, and I'm like, no. Went back in, turned the air off. That doesn't make any sense to me. You should never run the air when it's 60. In the low 60s. That doesn't make sense. <clears throat> Man, I'm still enjoying that. Dunkin' Donuts coffee I bought. That stuff's disappearing pretty quick, too. Just heard one of my doors, my garage door, inside door shut. Probably the cats messing with it. They like to try to open the door. Man, these chipmunks are all over the place today. Wonder if they're drowned out of their holes. <laughs>
I really do love this pipe. And I know many of you don't see me smoke it like super often. It's probably because, well, it's one of my nicer pipes. And I'm trying to just keep it, you know, not super used, which is probably dumb on my part because it smokes so well. Got this at Arlington Heights, Pipes and Cigars. They have a lot of pipes <laughs> to pick from. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty dangerous for me when I go there because they have a big selection of Savinelli's. And as I stated, I really like Savinelli's, um, I wanted to like Peterson's. I wanted to collect Peterson's. And as I probably will eventually buy some more Peterson's, but they just don't, I don't gravitate to them the same way I do Savinelli's. I don't know why. I just love the design of the 320s. For one. Um, the Rossies, that, the same similar design. Um, a lot of the Petersons, though, they have, like, they're very bent, or, and I'm not a straight billiard smoker at all. Uh, I started off as one with the Dr. Grabows, which, to be honest with you, if, if you're going to start off smoking a pipe, that is the pipe to start off with. Just get a straight, like, uh, Dr. Grabow billiard. Um, Grand Duke, something like that. It will do the job. But then as I started getting, buying more, getting into more different pipes, the straight billiards just didn't do it for me anymore. Mainly because I do make video content and they stick straight out and they kind of block my face and it's just not where these don't but from a smoking standpoint they smoke every bit as good as anything else and I see a lot of lot of presenters that do like straight billiards um, so maybe I'm just clueless and I will buy some uh, Petersons, though. I just get, I have to have some. If I'm going to have a collection, I have to have a few Petersons. Um, I think I've hit my quota on Savinelli's, though. That's why I, the last two I bought were not Savinelli's. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm buying most, all my pipes from brick and mortar shops, nothing online, and it really makes me feel good when I do that because they, they're they always so appreciative, you know. It's, they probably don't do a, a bunch of sales when it comes to selling pipes, so when they do sell one, they're very appreciative, and it makes me feel good. So, I'm at the 15-minute mark. Time to cut this one off. Again, 
appreciate everyone who visits the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like the content, hit the like. Um, I'm hoping to try to put out videos each day on my trip. Probably won't happen, but I'm going to try to. Um, so, until next time, keep them lit.